Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Agreed. So as expected, finally the ASRB has released its notification for 2025 and uh, you can see these PDFs that has been circulated in all our social media platforms. So if you have not yet uh, accessed this PDF, so you can click on the link that is available in the descriptions and just have a clear look at the complete document so that you'll be getting a very good idea on this complete notification. But still, in this video, I'll be just go going to explain you in brief about the very important things that are very necessary and very important for you people to know if you are willing to write this exam of this SRB net for getting the net certificate for the ARS, SMS and STO. So what are the important things for now? See the application has will be released by the April and the last date is uh, May. So for now what are the things which will be necessary for you? For now like uh, the application how to apply and everything would, won't be necessary. So we'll be coming up with a detailed video once the application is open so that we'll guide you with the step by step process that how can you apply for this exams and what documents you have to consider. But for now what things are important? First thing is to know about the complete timeline of the events. So that is event. That is important. The next thing is to know about the eligibility whether you will be eligible to write this exam or not. This is very important. Third is to know about the subjects in which of the subjects you can write this exam that becomes important for now and the fourth thing which is important is like obviously the syllabus and the pattern of the exams so if you know about these four things you can kick start your preparation and prepare according to these exams so let us start with the dates so dates for this the timeline of the events of this asrb net 2025 is like for last uh, like application will open by 22nd of april and it will end by 20, uh, 21st of may within which you have to Submit the application and also pay the prescribed fee. And next, the prelims examination, the date is to 2nd of September to 4th of September and the mains date is 7th December. But please note that these dates are tentative. It might change or it might also postpone because what we have seen in the recent years, in the previous two notifications, the prescribed dates that they have mentioned, they are always tentative and in the board time also, the postpone the dates have been postponed for one or the other reasons but so keep this in mind and prepare accordingly that this will, these are the tentative dates for this exam. Next after knowing the dates the second thing is eligibility. So we were getting a lot of messages from the students regarding the eligibility there is some confusion like let me clarify that. So the eligibility in case of age it's very clear that the student who is 21 and above they will be eligible to write the exam. See the ASRB not notification has a four different categories this time which is again ASRB NET. Students who are willing to get the NET certificate, which is National Eligibility Test Certificate, they can write this exam, the ASRB NET exam. And the students who are willing to recruit it as the ARS scientists, they can also do, write, they have to also write this exams and also for the SMS, Subject Matter Specialist, and also for the STO, which is Senior Technical Officer. So the last three are the recruitment uh, exams, that you will be recruited as any of these posts and the first one is the national eligibility test for the ASRB like under ICR where you will be able to if you are able to clear these exams and qualify and get the net certificate you will be eligible to apply for the assistant professor post in any of the state agriculture universities or in any other agriculture universities in the India. So this is regarding the four different categories under the notification of ASRB 2025. So this is regarding the eligibility. The other thing is about the eligibility which the most students are confused is about like sir I am the first year MSc student whether I can write this exam or not whether I am eligible for this exam or not I am in the second year MSc whether I am eligible or not. See uh, the students who have already cleared the MSc who are in the PhD who are pursuing PhD or like who have already finished the PhD completed PhD so they are obviously eligible so there, is, there is no doubt on it but the students who have just pursuing their first year MSc or they are pursuing the second year MSc. Let me clarify this thing. The SRB has clearly notified that the student has to complete his MSc degree by 30th of September 2025. So clearly the first year MSc students you won't be clearing completing your degree by 30th of September 2025 so you will not be eligible. But still if you are wanting to know about the pattern the level of the exams you can definitely the application and write the exams but ultimately you will not be qualified considered as qualified and you will not be going to next stages nor you will not be getting nor you will be getting the 
net certificate so make sure this thing is very clear to you only to practice and only to know you can apply for this exam but if you are in the secondary msc now if you are in secondary msc if you complete your degree and get the pdc on or before the 30th of september then only you will be eligible to get the net certificate if you qualify or you will be eligible to go for the next round that is mains and the interview in case of ers sms and sto although like since the application will be opening by april and it will close by may you may or may not be sure about whether you will be able to complete your degree or not anyhow you can apply now apply in the month of april or may if you clear it uh, if you just get a pdc before 30th you will be eligible for the next rounds otherwise uh, the exams the prelims exams if you are going to attend that will not be considered for the further rounds this is as simple as it is okay regarding the eligibility next comes about the subject see in the subjects you have to know that your department is eligible in which of the other departments for this ars exam or asrb net exam or sms sto exam for example if i want to give you the example the gbb students they will be eligible to write the exam in case of gbb subject also they will be also eligible for the sst that is seed science and they are also eligible for plant genetic resource so there is a cross eligibility for the gbb and there is also the cross eligibility for the other departments but in which of the departments you are eligible that depends and they have clearly prescribed in this pdf so have a clear look at it so that you can decide it decide by now itself that in which departments you are going to write the exams and also please make note you can write in any of the one you can only write in any of the one you cannot write in more than one of these subjects or the departments this srb exam okay either it might be the net sms sto or ers for all the four categories you can write it in only in the one of the mentioned department okay so this is regarding the subject next important thing is to know about the syllabus and the pattern so before i go into the syllabus let us discuss about the pattern the pattern for the asrb net exam or the ars or the sms sto for all four categories first level of exam is preliminary examination which is prelims which is of computer based test in which like you will be asked with the mcqs and this will be for the maximum 150 and the total duration is 120 minutes that is 2 hours and the number of questions here the number total number of questions that will be asked in this uh, preliminary examination is total of 150 questions for 150 marks regarding the prelims exams next after clearing the prelims like if you are eligible uh, if you have qualified the prelims then you will you'll be eligible to get the net certificate and if you will be eligible to write the ars exams for ars mains exams for sms ars and sto okay and this will be completely descriptive it is in the written format and you have to write the answers here and this is of total of 300 marks and the total duration is three hours and after clearing the stage, the next stage will be the personal interview, which will be of total of 45 marks. The whole eligibility for all four categories, which I mentioned already, it is MSc. Okay, it's not PhD this time, it is MSc. Okay, minimum eligibility criteria is MSc. MSc and above, anyone can write this exam. Okay, so this is regarding the pattern. And the next, before going to the syllabus, you have to know about the minimum qualifying marks. The ratio here is 1 is to 15 generally that means for the ARS if the number of posts are 10 then 150 students will be eligible to write the mains exams from the prelims so but the thing is in the prelims the minimum qualifying marks is 75 out of 150 out of 150 in the prelims one has to secure 75 if he or she is belonging to the general category but if it is in the other categories like EWS and OBC there is some relaxation where 67.75 marks 67.5 marks out of 150 they will be eligible the, and next the SCST and PWD C and above will be eligible but above this it doesn't mean that all of the students who are securing more than 75 or 67.5 or 60 will be eligible this is the minimum but the who will be eligible it is based on the 1 is to 15 ratio okay based on the seats this will be the competition but here 150 students will be selected each one of them have to get the marks more than 75 if 
few of them are below 75 they will not be selected so this is how the competition level will be uh, like decided and you will be getting to know about the difficulty level based on number of students who will secure more than 75 marks in the prelims exams the difficulty or the competition level for the mains will be decided okay although it is generally 1 is to 15 but this is how it is decided so clearly know about the minimum qualification marks qualifying marks for the prelims it is same for the net ars sms and sq there is no change in that okay regarding the minimum qualifying marks the next is the thing about the syllabus syllabus the syllabus is the obviously different for the different departments the complete details is available in this same pdf you can scroll down and get to know the details and the know the syllabus copy but once i one thing i will you know, like i can make it clear that the syllabus for the icr phd and the ars sms stu or uh, srb net so it is more or less same or majorly same but the only difference is in the icr phd you will be getting the minor subjects along with the major in the part b like in the part b and in the part a there will be general agriculture but in case of the srb the complete questions will be asked from your major department from which you have pursued your msc okay so this is the basic difference between the icr phd and the srb net but other than this in the major subjects almost everything will be very same this is regarding the srb net notification 2025 i hope like i have clarified all the important things that is required as per now but later so once the application is out we'll make a detailed video on like how to fill up the application and step by step guide on everything okay for now for now like if you have started the preparation or willing to start your preparation then we have online master course for the three different subjects which is the genetics and entomology and the seed sense and technology so if you are interested to enroll our online courses get the full guidance with live class record classes the complete mock test series and uh, the previous question papers discussions and one-to-one -one mentorship you can enroll our online courses the links are available in the description box and other than this like we have already launched the free mock test for the six different subjects for the asrb net starting with like these three subjects along with these three subjects we also have for the pathology and we also have for agronomy and soil science so free mock tests are available for everyone the links for the free mock tests are available in the description again you can go there and enroll for this free mock test and start practicing it it can boost your preparation and in the coming days we are also planning to bring up the more mock test bundle in terms of bundle for the different subjects as i mentioned earlier we'll try for it so once they are out we'll be notifying it in our youtube channel and all our social media platforms so subscribe our youtube channel and also you can join our social media platforms so that you can get the regular updates so if you have any doubt or any if you need any clarification regarding the asrb notification that is re released recently you can comment on this video we are always happy to assist thank you so much for watching